Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Go With Your Gut podcast. I am your host, Lauren Dreyer, and today I am talking about can versus can't because I have been talking and thinking a lot about can versus can't lately, and it starts with my kiddos. I have two small boys, and right now they are three and four and a half. We do a lot of things with them. And I get a lot of responses of, I can't do this, or no, I can't. And a lot of times I kind of laugh because, well, I may or may not have been the same way as a kid, but I look at what they're doing and I think, okay, you, it might be a little bit hard, but you can do it. Maybe Maybe they just need to pedal a little bit harder on their bikes or they just need to try something a different way because they can't get something open or something shut or something to fit, whatever the case may be. My boys tell me that they can't a lot. And most of the time I respond back with, sure you can, you just need to do this because I want to teach them early that they can figure out a way to do it because most of the time there's a way to do it, even if it's not working the first time. And the more I think about that, the more I think of um, somebody I was listening to years ago, and I'm sure I've heard this many a times, but it just happened to hit me a lot this day. And they said, you know, you tell yourself either you can or you can't. Either way, you're right, because if you tell yourself you can, then you'll figure it out. If you tell yourself that you can't, then you're probably right and you'll quit because you just tell yourself that you can't. And I, this goes through my head all the time because no matter if I'm frustrated or trying something new or I'm tired for whatever reason and I'm just like, I can't do this. That goes through my head and I'm like, nope, Lauren, get some grit, figure it out. You can get there. And the more I think about that and the more I do things, I realize it's not a can versus can't thing. It is a can versus won't thing, right? We can do a lot of things. And most of the time, more than we give ourselves credit for. But we tell tell ourselves that we can't because we don't want to. We don't want to have to figure it out. We don't want to have to do things wrong or get frustrated with something. And we don't want to have to keep going and figuring it out. So we say we can't instead of, I won't do this. I won't figure this out. I'm not going to sit here and try it a different way because that's ultimately most of the time what ends up happening. Are there some things that you absolutely can't do? Uh, Yeah, absolutely. But I have found so much with pushing my kids to do stuff, riding their bike up a big hill or things that I didn't think I could do. And all of a sudden, I'm like, hey, look at that. Kind of sucked and took me a long time to figure it out. And did I get frustrated? Yeah. But I figured it out. And the more I did that, the more I was able to turn that mindset into, yeah, sure, I can. But I I knew that came with, well, it might take me a minute. I might not get it right the first time, but there are so many things that people say, I can't. Kids say, I can't. We say, I can't. I can't do this project, do this job, make this work. When in all reality, look at what we as society have accomplished, where we are. There are a lot of things that People were always told, no, you can't do that. That'll never work. No, you can't. This can't happen. And 
somebody had the motivation and the courage to say, sure it can, I'll figure it out. And then they do. Does it take a long time? Does it take days, weeks, months, sometimes years? Absolutely. But we figure it out. There are so many things with technology or health or food or science, all those things that we have figured out because somebody did not accept a, I can't, or you can't. It was a, well, this didn't work. Let's figure out another way to make it happen. And then somewhere along the line, somebody made it happen. So maybe you've got a hard project at work and you are tired, you're exhausted, you're stressed, you've got a lot going on, all those things. And you say, I can't do that. Now, sometimes that does have to do with I've got, do you have too much on your plate? Yeah, maybe. I can't do this right now. Maybe once I'm done with all these other things, I could get to it. But we are such in a instant gratification society that everybody wants everything done right now. And for some things, that's great. You can do a lot of things with the click of one button. But it's not usually a we can't do things. People flex around a lot to make things work. It's a, I won't do it right now. I won't figure it out right now. And the more we can replace replace that and even the things we say to ourselves and what we tell ourselves we can and can't do, that changes a lot because I could tell myself I can't do a lot of things And who am I convincing myself? A lot of people that I've said that to have been like, okay. And then, you know, however long later, my wheels start turning. I'm like, well, okay. Yeah, I actually could do this. I could probably figure this out. So you tell yourself you can't. What can't you do? Figure it out or make it work or maybe learn something new. Learning new things is hard. Maybe it's learning a new job, a new skill, um, learning something big. Um, Who knows? There's a lot of different things, but learning something new and getting out of that comfort zone because it's going to require energy. It's going to require time. It's going to require Uh, probably a lot of effort, but it's something that we can do. It's not a, I can't, it's a, I won't. And sometimes, yeah, we have to say, I won't do it because we have priorities that take precedence over other things and that's okay. But the more we tell ourselves that we can't do something, the more we're going to believe that we can't do it instead of saying, Well, I can, and then be realistic and say, I can, but I won't do it right now, or I just won't do it. Because it's not usually a thing of can't. Most of the time we can figure it out. We just don't want to do a lot of things. We don't want to have hard conversations. We don't want to have stressful situations. We don't want to get in an uncomfortable situation, maybe start a new career, a new job, a business, um, fix a relationship that needs to be fixed, or finally set boundaries with something. All of those things are doable. It's just a matter of us saying, yeah, I can do that. It's not going to be fun. I don't want to, but I can. And when we can finally make that mindset shift of, it's not that I can't, I can, I don't want to, or I won't. 
And usually we get told that we can't do things enough that we start to believe it, but it also comes from ourselves. And when you do something new, when you have a new hard project, that's really going to challenge you is really going to make you stretch and grow and figure something out. Um, get yourself to a new level, uh, bring a, bring a new skill, a new level of confidence out in you that you didn't know. It comes from that can't comes from that place of fear because you don't know how it's going to go. You don't know how it's going to work out. And you don't want, you don't want to fail. You don't want to look bad, but what if instead you say, okay, here's this new opportunity. Sure. I can do that. It might take a little bit for me to figure it out and set the realistic expectation, but tell yourself that you can do it. And the more you say, well, I don't know how it's going to look. I don't know when I'm going to get there but I'll get there somehow. The more you can have that confidence and know that you can do it, stop saying can't. Because most of the time we can. When it comes to my kids and teaching them how to uh, ride a bike, ride a bike up a hill, they get tired. They don't want to do a lot of things. They don't think they can do small things that are a big deal for them. And they say, I can't, I can't. Then, you know, we, I talk them through it a little bit. I push them a little bit, whether that be giving them a little bit more encouragement or, you know, helping them push their bike up a hill and telling them to, you know, pedal a little bit faster, get some momentum going. When you can learn how to change the speed, get some momentum and, know that the end is probably not that far away. They get to the top of that hill and they say, oh my gosh, I did it. I figured it out. Do I have to, did I have to change my speed a little bit? Did I have to put a little bit more effort into it? Did I have to know that I could? Yeah, absolutely. But once you figure it out, you have that you have that proof that you can do it. And when you start having that proof that you can do it, all of a sudden you start looking at challenges and saying, well, I'm not, I'm not scared. I don't, I don't think I can't do it. And it turns into, sure, I can do that. And maybe your brain starts getting excited about a challenge because you're used to pushing yourself. You're used to saying, I can, I will. And you look for that, that satisfaction of finally coming to the end of that project, getting to that next milestone and saying, I got there. I did it. I figured it out. I did that. Now, does it take encouragement from others, maybe some help from other people. Absolutely. Not nobody gets anywhere on their own. They have support systems, people, tools, everything to help them out. But you have to be willing to figure it out and ask. But you can do things. So get get can't out of your vocabulary change it to can, and then decide if it's a can or won't. Because typically, that's what we really mean. Not that you can't do it, but that you won't. Most of the time, that's what I figure out is, well, yeah, I could do it. But maybe the time is wrong. My time is stretched. I have to go do something else. So it's not a, I can't. It's a, I I won't. I won't do it Maybe right now I can do it later when I have more time or I can do something else, but I, I won't do it right now. And a lot of times I think that's what a lot of people end up with is I can do it. Maybe it won't work as well here as it would somewhere else, or maybe it, 
it won't be as easy here and it will down the line. There's a lot of little caveats to that, obviously with everything, but it's, well, we can make it work. Is the experience gonna be great? Maybe it won't be as great now as it will later when we'd have uh, the better platform, the better area, the better whatever to do it for. So think about that and think about can versus can, can't versus can, and the fact that most of the time can't is not true. Won't is true because we can do things, but we won't. There is no problem with won't. But we tend to say, no, I can't do this. And the more we say that I can't do it, the more that sits in your head and you begin to sit there and think, well, I can't do it. And it becomes a more frequent word instead of, sure, I can. And you go with your gut feeling and say, I can do it. I don't know how it's going to look. I don't know when it's going to be done. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I can. Will I do it now? I won't do it till later. I won't do it until I finished this project or I won't do it until I have fulfilled this obligation. I can, but I won't. I always have a little bit of a guilty gut feeling when I say I can't because I know that I can. I know that I can figure something out and I know that I can make something work some way or another. Listen to that gut feeling and quit saying you can't do something. Is it hard? Is it different? Is it, I don't know, out of the normal of what you would normally do? Yeah, probably. But why is that a bad thing? So when you feel when you say you can't and you feel that guilt thing inside your gut, think about that and then say, okay, yeah, I can do that. Do I want to, or I just won't do it right now? What does that look like for you? That is what I have for you today. Hopefully this resonated with, with you on some level. And remember to always go with your gut. It won't lead you in the wrong direction.